Right? I was in a pub, right? I bought a drink, I held my hand out for the change, right? It's not the biggest hand you're ever going to see in the world, but, it, you know, a few quid will slot in there, lovely, right? So, so go on, pop it in there, right? And uh, most of it went in there, but then a pound it that bit, right? Quite a heavy coin, isn't it? And that's quite a spongy bit of the hand. So it didn't just flick off, it went boom. Right? And I watched it, I couldn't go after it, could I? Because I dropped these ones and I had my pint in this hand. So I watched it fly through the air and land right into a charity collection bucket. <laughs> Awkward, right? And when I say bucket, I don't mean like an actual... I mean those things to shake, where that gap is only just big enough for a pound on its side. As a shot from there, it was absolutely remarkable. Right? <laughs> if I'd meant that, I would have been the coolest person who's ever given money to charity. I've gone, cheers. That one's for the charity. See you later. <laughs> but obviously she knew I didn't mean it, right? So she's not looking at me, the barmaid, thinking, oh, what a lovely guy giving that pound away. I know what she's thinking. I can see her face. She's thinking... <laughs> <laughs> oh, look how annoyed he is. <laughs> I was annoyed because you can't say anything there, can you? You can't say, you haven't got a key for that, have you? <laughs> I didn't mean that. That, that was an I mean, it wasn't an accident, it was your fault. I told you where I wanted it and you sliced the pass. You owe me a pound and another one for the distress. <laughs> Give me two pounds, please. Right. I, I, I didn't know what to say to get out of this situation, right? So I stared at the thing and uh, I could have been there 15 minutes, I have no idea, right? And then I thought, I know what I'll do. I'll get out of this situation using my sense of humour. Do a slight problem, because if I've learned anything since I became a comedian, it's that I'm not funny. <laughs> not in real life, out and about, you know, when you fire out gag. I just make people tense, because I try too hard and it's weird. I do little voices and act shit out. And it, you know, like the rhythm of humour is supposed to be fast, isn't it? People are chatting, you go, oh, bada, 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 bada. and someone will go, oh, bada, bada, bada. and they go, ah, bada, bada, bada. <laughs> <laughs> not those words, obviously, but the <laughs> rhythm of it is there, isn't it? If I do a joke, it tends to go, oh, bada, 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 and I'll go, oh, bada, 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 and they go, oh. <laughs> What do you think he meant by that? It doesn't seem to fit in with anything that's happened in the last week. <laughs> I'll just tell you what I said, and this will be the best illustration, right? I'm there holding my hand out, right? And I looked at her, and I looked down, and I noticed the charity that was being collected for, right? So here's my little zinger to get me out of this situation. You can have this. I said, uh, oh, <laughs> knowing my luck, I'll probably end up getting prostate cancer now as well. <laughs> <laughs> what sort of penis says that to someone? I really stared at her as well as if to go, go on, enjoy that. I'm a professional. It's fine. <laughs> I'm that funny all the time. Right. So naturally, she said the only thing you could say when someone says that to you. She went, yeah, you might. <laughs> ah, really going to enjoy this beer. That's one of the reasons I didn't want to be with anyone. The other reason is far more uh, unpleasant. The other reason I didn't want to be with anyone is just the hatred that is inside me is remarkable. Like, if it was strength, I would be a superhero. I can hate people just instantly. Just the glance of the back of their head, I can just go, prick. <laughs> oh, go, he's gone now, he's behind that wall, but I know he's a prick. <laughs> Out there somewhere, being a prick. And I, I, it's, it's the hatred that everyone in this room, you'll feel it once a year. You get it once a year where you're having a bad day and you just take it out. In your head, you take it out on someone whose fault it isn't. You get to the train station and there's someone in front of you whose ticket won't go into the thing. And they seem to think that the solution to that is to try exactly the same thing a thousand times. <laughs> <laughs> Shoving it in there. The train left hours ago, still there. <laughs> <laughs> Ticket's eroded, hand is just a blooded stump. <laughs> And you come up behind him. On a normal day, you see that, and it's annoying, isn't it? But you know it happens. You go, oh, Jesus, you've never been on the train before. Right? You go around the barrier. I'm, I'm sure there are good people in here who would see that and think, oh, I could help in this situation. Oh, excuse me, are you okay? Oh, that's your seat reservation. Just turn it around, okay? And just go, oh, don't worry, we'll do it. Take care, bye. <laughs> I'm not one. But then you have that one day a year, don't you, when it just, it's out of your control. Everything from the minute you open your eyes has been shit. And then at like half five, this is the last straw and you come up behind him and before you can even stop yourself, he's like, oh, I wish you were fucking dead. <laughs> <sighs> you catch yourself, you know, I'm not that person. I didn't mean it, I didn't mean it, right? But in that second of selfishness, all you can think is if you died earlier today, I'd be through that barrier by now. <laughs> Holding up my existence. 
I feel like that most of the time. <laughs> I'm not about individuals, I elevated beyond that. I now hate just society, just all the time. And summer is the worst, right? I like winter. Winter's a good time for me, because obviously in winter people stay inside, don't they? And they eat stew and they cry. <laughs> Good season for me, Winter. Just put veg in and cook it until it's just been in there hours. There you go, Swede. Fuck you. <laughs> I'll stay in there until I'm ready for you. I'm too tired to chew now. It's November. <laughs> Chewing was June. Now I just need mush to shove in this thing so I don't die. That's why with summer, what happens is people go out, don't they? And they do stuff and they have opinions on it and they talk about it. And that's when I start getting pissed off, right? And what happens is when we have good summers, you have real trouble. And it didn't used to be a problem because in this country, obviously, in my lifetime, I don't remember many actual summers. I remember like days where you open the curtains in the morning and you go, oh, uh, oh, uh, sunshine, sunshine. <laughs> let's have a breakfast barbecue. And I thought, and I go, well, it's half seven in the morning. You go, I know, but there's clouds coming. So let's really, you know, just get out there and set fire to the shed and put a fucking sausage on it, please. Because <laughs> other, oh, it's raining now, doesn't matter. <laughs> that was summer, it was fun, that one, wasn't it? Right. Now, the last couple, you had like days where you open the curtains on Monday and it's sunny and it's sunny all week. And that's dangerous. You know you're in trouble because you turn the weather on and the weather people are outside showing you the weather. If they were indoors, you wouldn't believe them, right? But they have to be outside. You switch the weather on and Carol's there going, hello, I'm looking outside in a field, you know. That's, look at the time and look at your time. It's happening now, this. <laughs> it's the sunshine up there, look, it's very hot. It's not too hot, I'm not dying, but it's because it's quite far away. You know, it's temperate, it's nice. And, you know, I know it looks like it's just on me in this field, but it's actually because it's so far away, it's on all of us, you know, at all. <laughs> experiencing sun and I know it's Monday and you've got to go to work but don't worry it'll still be sunny on Friday as well and that's the bit where we all go I beg your fucking pardon <laughs> still sunny on Friday is it when I go out and get shit faced you tell me I can get shit faced outside now are you and I can email people now and that will happen will it shit faced outside on Friday right I'll start emailing everyone so you email everyone you know and I don't know how it happens you must be able to put into the email bar everyone at desks and it just sweeps the city, right? And whichever city you live in, there's a place you all go, right? And I live uh, here in London, which is, you know, has to be done for a bit, doesn't it? I'm, I'm just... Yeah, four very strong opinions there. <laughs> you make up your own mind how you deal with that little debate. Yeah, yeah. Oh, all good points. 